the place where we're rocking because it's Saturday night. Because it's hockey tonight. Gentlemen, gentlemen, and ladies, welcome to another edition of Oilers Fan Reaction. Great talk for Oilers fans. Game one is done in the books, and oh boy, was it a memorable one. Five-point night from McDavid, three those goals from Hyman, add an assist, and what do you get? You get a 7-4 ass-whooping on the L.A. Kings. What can I say, folks? Want to talk about it? Is there anything really to talk about? Is there anything really pressing that we can go over? Oilers looked great. They shot out of the cannon. They scored a couple power play goals. They didn't get scored on on the PK. They controlled the game from start to finish. A few bad luck goals. Puck bounces off a of Bouchard skate back in the net. Puck bounces off a of Nurse skate back in the net. Without those two, could have been worse. But again, Oilers got a little lucky, a little bit of luck, a little, 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 little bit of luck along the way. Kings had a few breaks that probably shouldn't have happened, defensive breakdowns that the Oilers need to fix, that they didn't capitalize on. Score was tighter than it was until it wasn't. Had Skinner not played a masterful game, and the Kings missed a few wide open nets, we would be talking about a closer game or even an Oilers, heaven forbid, loss. But we're not. We're talking about a blowout. We're talking about McDavid five points. We're talking about Hyman's Hattie, the Henry goal to get it all started. A dry sidle power play goal. A Hopkins power play goal. We're talking about that. And we're not talking about any negative thoughts that the Oilers might have had. Now... Every team has played at least one game in the NHL playoffs. We're going to talk about the recap of the playoff series to start. Whew. We're not going to get into the Vegas-Dallas game. What a fucking farce that is. I'm sorry, folks. If you're a Vegas fan, I, I don't know how, but Stone wasn't hurt. He's been practicing for almost two months. Don't give me that crap of, oh, well, he hasn't practiced. Yeah, he has. Otherwise, he wouldn't be in such good game shape. Don't fucking kid yourself. Anyways, as far as all this series goes, Hurricanes are up 2-0 on the Islanders in their series. The Bruins and Maple Leafs series are tied at one zos The Florida Panthers have a one-game lead on the Lightning. The Rangers have a one-game lead on the Capitals. The Jets have a one-game lead on the Avalanche. The Canucks have a one-game lead on the Predators. Now, the Oilers have a one-game lead on the Kings, and the Golden Knights have a one-game lead on the Stars. Games that are happening tonight, because it is Tuesday morning, Capitals Rangers, Lightning Panthers, Colorado Jets, and Nashville Vancouver. Oilers don't play again till Thursday, Wednesday, and it's game two. Anything can happen, right? Anything and everything seems to happen. A lot of things happened. Whew. Let's talk about it. Let's get into the post game. Get into the posties, shall we? Shots at the end of the night were 37-45 for the Oilers. Face-off percentage was 55-44. So much for that big three down the middle that LA has. Uh, <laughs> Power play, 75% for the Oilers, 3 for 4 now. Did the Oilers should have got a bit more? I probably think so. Could the Oilers gotten more penalties? Absolutely. They did take two of them. There was probably two or three they got away with, but L.A. got away with a lot too. I've said this before. I'm an equal opportunist asshole when it comes to the bad officiating in the NHL. You cannot have these two refs ref this series. I'm going to, I said it when I found out who was refing the series, and I'm going to say it again. These two officials are not playoff officials. Problem there is, is these are the best two officials coming out of the bottom five. You've got your top five to 
10 NHL officials, and then you got the barrel of monkeys that are the rest. We unfortunately got the barrel of monkeys that are the rest. We got two of the barrel of monkeys. It is what it is. I hope for everyone's sake that we all calm down and we all now know that these refs aren't going to call shit. Unless it's blatant and it's something that they have to call like last night. Expect bad officiating this series, folks. This might be the worst officiating series of them all. Going on, 70 hits for the LA Kings and 47 hits for the Edmonton Oilers should tell you you all need to know about who controlled the play and how they controlled it. If you got the puck, you're going to get hit. If you're chasing the game and don't have the puck, you're going to do the hitting. L.A. was going after heads, they were going after knees. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen to more, but that motherfucker deserves to be suspended at least one game. You don't go after a guy's knee, even though he hits your best player. He did his effing job. Doughty is on the ice. He is fair game to be hit and hit hard. I am an Oiler fan, and if my name is on the back of that Oiler jersey, and I see number 11, number 8, Number three in Derek Roy, number five in England, and I'm even going to throw 22 Fiala out there. If I see those guys, they have the puck, they are going to get smashed into the boards every fucking time they got the puck. No flybys, no soft hits, no excuses. They are going to get pounded and pounded hard. And if a bitch like Moore doesn't like it, then go play fucking tiddlywinks and figure skating. Because obviously you can't handle when your star player gets hurt. There was a lot, a lot of after the scrum pushing and shoving in front of both nets. Orders are guilty of it too. Let the play get dictated whistle to whistle. After the whistle shenanigans bullshit, don't fucking do it. Walk away. Let the other guys cause the penalties. Let the Kings push, walk away. Let them slash you once, walk away. But if they continue to push, continue to slash, give them a good old bam to the pop of the mouth. They won't do it very often. I guarantee LA is soft. Anyways, we're looking at the block shots. 23 for the Oilers. What an improvement. And I'm going to say 13 of those were on the power PK. 16 block shots for L.A. It seemed like they didn't want to play the price like the Oilers did. Giveaways, L.A. had more, 7 to 15. Takeaway, 7 to 5. Edmonton had more than takeaways, 12 to 7. Now, it's one game. I get that it's the first game. But we have to remember here, folks, this is the first game in a long time that the Oilers have won game one in a series. By the way, when the Oilers take a lead in the series, they are 21-3-1. and one. Sorry, 21-3. and three. Obviously, it can't be one, right? Durr. Um, they don't lose. When they take a series lead, they don't lose. It's just not in their DNA. They have dropped games and lost, obviously, when, you come, when you're down 2 nothing in a series. It's kind of hard to come back at our rocking time. But when they go up in a series, they usually hold on to win the series. Yes, they don't sweep. They don't go 4-0 and and... Most of those series go six or seven, but the fact of the matter is they still win. Just like they did last night, winning. And because we won, we get a nice little tribute video here for you. We got two videos for you. Ooh, lucky you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> Do you like to draw with crayons? I do. But I'm not very good at it.
boy. Step aside, time to let the big dog work his magic. Fucking introduction that you already know. Super side death row, ride slow mo with the photo with no ones kicking the toe to toe with the pole pole. That's right, folks. One win down, 15 more to go because it takes 16 wins to so win the Stanley Cup. Now, the Oilers do lead this series 1 0. We will find out what kind of bounce back games that the Kings have. We will find out what the Kings are made of on Wednesday. Is this the way the series is going to go? Let me know in the comments. As always, my name is Matt for Oilers. And reaction. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And if you haven't already, you just stumbled upon this channel, subscribe. We got great content all the time. We also go live for do live games every game day. Let's go Oilers. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.